So the Christmas Chai Challenge. Happy Christmas. This is a good exercise that explores some things in very different ways to just chewing gum and many of the other exercises we've been looking at before. One thing our ancestors didn't have such nice, or we could call that processed food. The whole point of processing was to make food better. Now, I think there was a turning point at the Industrial Revolution. Before that, most people were subsistence farmers and you ate everything you made, or you, rather, you, everything you ate, you made. Then when we specialised, you were no longer a farmer. That means you had to buy food. And of course, as soon as you start buying things, you become discernible and you're looking for better quality things. And this is a time when malocclusion seems to have increased. And I think that was one of the reasons because we started to improve the quality of the food that we were eating. Now, chai propose, poses a very simple and challenging situation. So what I suggest is you buy some chai. I've got some chai here. I won't mention where I got it. And the first thing you're going to notice is that there's going to be a lot of grinding involved and a lot of lateral movements of the teeth. And then the chai is going to go everywhere. And I'm going to have to really try with my tongue to get the chai off of the bits of teeth. Now I know you'd normally soak chai. Well, Clearly we're not going to be doing that, we're going to be eating it raw. So it's going to be a mixture of grinding and really working hard with my tongue, extending my tongue deep into the sulcus to get those bits of chai off of my teeth. A very odd movement, both of these, that most people are not normally doing. So here's the Christmas chai challenge. No, first I find my Teeth do it as a grinding stone action. And I'm thrust these tiny little seeds between my teeth and it's going everywhere. Um, clearly you chew well, remember, delay a swallow, delay a swallow for as long as possible. That's a good trip. And then chin tuck when you're gonna swallow. So in doing this, you're exercising your system in a very unusual way. Your teeth are really very close together, doing a lot of grinding, and I think our ancestors did a lot of this. And then, you're really forcibly having to use your tongue to get these bits of chai off of the teeth. And that's really building up, that's really stretching the tongue. You know, I would say don't do an exercise when you can do something that's natural and normal. Exercises emulate what we should really be doing. Um, my top tip with this is have a toothpick or have an interdental stick or something handy with you and a mirror because it's going to be difficult to get all of the bits off. But anyway, happy Christmas 2019, Merry New Year 2020, the Christmas Chai Challenge.